Hey there, fellow tarnish, both foul and fair, full of unsightly ambition, provoked by the flame of whatever flame provokes you, I guess. Uh, welcome to the next episode of the playthrough of Elden Ring. I'm Stubbs the Wizard, your host. <clears throat> and we are playing as a, what we call a stealth mage. We had a subscriber also refer to him as a ninja caster. And, uh, we're not going to get into stats right now. Next video, I'll, I'll probably do every other video or so. But uh, he's 99 int, 60 vigor, uh, various thing, other assortments of uh, stats. But the, the idea here is that he can't use anything but knight spells. That's why I'm dual wielding the staves of loss, because that adds, even though each one adds 30 a piece, um, together, multiplicatively, they add 69%. And so. I do want to sh see one thing here. Yep, I need to use the Arrow's Reach Talisman, which will increase the range of Ambush Shard, as well as things like um, uh, Rock Sling. So let's Ambush Shard this guy. Man, he's tough. That's a three. And then we're going to fall down here. And just for giggles, I'm going to change this to the cat ring. To not... I don't think this will kill me, but it will take a bunch of my health. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Okay, switch this back. So we're making our way through Volcano Manor here. We're going to get down to the bottom there eventually. We're going to work our way over. Uh, they just have some treasure to get. I better turn on my lamp. Anytime you're stealthy, you want a lamp on. I'm just kidding. You actually don't. The uh, <clears throat> In the army, as we've taught about in tactical situations, is you want something called light and noise discipline. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. You hose beast. Take that. Notice I can't use melee. Um, which I can't from the standpoint of artificial restriction. Alright. Just for that attack, I'm gonna bust up the furniture. Alright, let's see what's up here. Looking for treasure. Talisman head. Precious item, oh precious item. I'm not going that way. Uh, I think this is the dagger medallion or talisman. Yeah, increases critical hits. Uh, anytime you do a a crit based playthrough, that is a good talisman to have. And uh, the playing a crit-based playthrough is actually really fun for me. That's why I define um, <clears throat> critical hits as not... Hey, I wonder if I can use the mist from here. Let's see what this does. But I define critical hits as not melee. I was going to get him at least. If I get him coming over here. We're all running around. 
around in it. Let's see here. This spell is <laughs> almost unfair. Almost. Not quite. Uh, because you can get behind doors and stuff where they can't see and still have them targeted, and it will spawn the spell outside where you can't even see. Okay, now I gotta be a little careful. Here, let's put this back on the cat talisman. The long tail cat talisman. Now, I have a viewer, uh, a subscriber, I dare I say, friend, buddy named Mindless Meat and uh, made it. And I was, that cat made me think of something that I think he would, he would find really funny. Uh, he's a chemist uh, out in Seattle. That's, I guess that doesn't matter. But um, I saw I saw a uh, design really interesting on the internet uh, for a perpetual engine, a perpetual motion engine. And so what that means, um, which Minus Me knows, is that a perpetual motion is a machine that would keep going infinitely with no additional input of energy. Thus far, it's been found to be impossible because um, uh, the with some of the, you know, the physics are problematic because things like friction and stuff uh, burn out in energy. Hey, Patches. You want to talk about hey. something? Welcome to Patches Emporium. No, not really. Hey, what about my reward? <laughs> Sharper than you seem. Yeah, I mean, you're going to try to take credit for it. I was just holding on to it for you. You know, there you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Yeah. Man, the whip candlestick. Thank you. Cheers for that. Uh, while I'm up here, I'm gonna go back down there. But when I'm while I'm up here, I wanna um, talk to Raya. See if I can get her to move. But at any rate, the perpetual motion machine. So this always been been hunted for, and people tried to devise it and figure it out, and they've been unsuccessful, which isn't surprising. But I saw a pretty promising one on the internet that was interesting. I think it probably is not really a perpetual motion machine, but, you know, it would be cool to run some tests on it. And what it did was it took a, just a regular like, DC motor, and to the top of it, you tie a piece of bread with a butter side, side up, and on the other side, you tie a cat upside down. And so the thing is, the cat always has to land on its feet, and the bread always has to land butter side down on the floor. Voila, it just keeps spinning to fulfill both requirements, which can never be fulfilled, therefore making a perpetual motion machine. Um, I'm wondering, mindless meat, can you vet my physics on that? I think it's promising. What do you think? Let's talk to Raya. Or let's bow to her first, because I pushed the, in a frenzy, I pushed the controls like a ninny. Here we go. No, I'm going to, why, why is it making about her? She's like, okay, you respect me. Um, oh. It is it's me. you. Forgive me. My mind never ceases to Yeah, I have the sack you were born in. Mm. Kind of gross. Well, I know I can trust you. Yeah. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. What? It entered the room next to this one and never came out. Yeah, I already if saw that. I'm not mistaken. It took the form of a serpent, just Ooh. like me. Does the volcano manor hide some secret? Yes, it does. That Lady Tanith has kept from me. Yes. I realize that I shouldn't impose, but. If you discover anything, would you please share? Let me tell you about the dark side of Volcano Manor. Really? Yes. Oh, so there was a secret after all. 
Yep. Oh my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Well. Was I not born by the grace of a she's king? She's probably not really your mother either. Here's the sack you were born in, because that seems appropriate to give you right now. Hmm. What is this? I remember this scent That's distinctly. gross. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? Not really. I am certain of it. Yeah. I was born inside this. Yeah, pretty it's gross. It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks Thank to you. you. I am no longer afraid. Good. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. All right. I want to know yes. how I will one day. You're repeating yourself. Let's go talk to your adoptive mother. Kind of gross. You gave her her amniotic sac. I don't know. That's just kind of weird. You don't generally do that. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come a day too soon. So you have nothing to say. Oh yeah. Zarya's so troubles. What about those? She said that to you. Yes. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well. Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. That's Think true. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What mm -hmm. matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Exactly. Zarias has placed her trust in you. That some things are better. Okay, that's what you said before. At some point, she gives you a potion that will help Zariah forget. Uh, you can also, oddly enough, give it to Corrin. Uh, generally, he refuses it, but I might be doing it wrong. Alright. Hey, brother. Take that. I don't need that on anymore. Let's do this. Refresh my health. Seabed curse. Yeah, this is just gross. You know, what is implying where in all these places you get the seed. Wow. Uh, that. Did not end up well for him. But anyway, the Seabed Curse with Dung Eater, where they always have that stain, uh, is a heavy implication of untoward things happening, which are not awesome. Come at me. Oh, I just got bitch slapped. Missed me. Boom. Uh, let's see how we want to go. You know what? I just... I want to... Using that cat... Talison made me think of something. I want to... I want to try to get this thing down here. Uh, there's a stairway that's broken. And, uh, I'm not really sure what's there. But I, so you're supposed to jump from another stairway. Uh, and I pretty much always fail at it. And, uh, so, yeah, I gotta put the, so using the cat talisman, I have a, I'm going to attempt 
which I suspect cannot be done, but I'm going to attempt to drop from the top. Rather than try to do the stairs as you're kind of supposed to. See if I can get my mimic involved here. Go get a mimic. Shot him in the back of the head. We sniped him. He was completely sniped. Hello, sir. I'm gonna just backstab you. Oh, you're already dead. Man, he's doing a levitation act there for a second. Let's see. I don't care about that. Let's go to this guy. Oh, oh, had the misericord. Maybe. There we go. Alright. So I'm going to try to jump from here. Uh, my suspicion is I will die, but I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to get the cat talisman back on. That, this is what made me think of it, because I used the cat talisman in the other room. And so I want to just try it. And I'll decide if I think it's um, worthwhile. See, there it is right there. And usually you... The, I haven't gotten it much, but when I have, I've jumped from that stairway. And you land on the stairway there, then you come down and get it. But I haven't been able to do that. Um, just for giggles, I'm going to try to do an R1 attack to try to draw myself back into the stairwell. I am so nervous right now. I'm gonna fall in the lava, aren't I? Oh man, I made it. Well, you know what? Now I feel super foolish for always trying to jump from up there. <laughs> Uh, so we made it. Watch it be a mushroom or something. Oh, stone, stone sword key. That's actually pretty good. There we go. I don't... I mean, we're really up to Rykard. But let me think about um, what we want to do. Do I want to take out Rykard? Or, no, I probably need to complete these other assassinations, no matter how distasteful. <clears throat> Alright. So, what I'll do... We're basically done with Volcano Manor for now. We, we've cleared it except for Rykard, and I'll fight him later on. And remember, uh, I have to use Night Sorceries when I do it. So it tells me I'm going to need my Mimic tier as well, but we'll find out. Right now I'm going to go to the round table hold. And, um... Gonna, oh, let's see. We need to talk to Dung Eater. That's what I wanted to do. Just for good, we'll see if they have anything I want. Uh, it's a. Oh, yeah. No, I'm gonna. Oh, sure. What the heck? I'll take it. I don't know how much I need to level up, but. Oh. Uh, let's see. What's this? Sanctuary Stone. Yeah, yeah. Let's go talk to Dungeon. And this, he'll give us the key to his cell in um, the. Um, whatever. Light. 
So put it in your proving grounds. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. Box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh. Trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, wife had intervened with uh, uh, work calling. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh. And I will trapped in the sewer jail below the probably capital. go and edit, edit that you. out. Uh, if Before if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I edited it out. I had to pause because be uh, I had a work issue to take care of. Go and unstrap yeah, I think we're done talking. Pop. And um, what else do you need to do here? Talk to Gideon. I don't really want to talk to him. Let's see if we can level up. Two sixty-three. Yeah, we got enough to level up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, shading my levels up towards what I need for my new game plus plus playthrough. And what if I should go in order? So, and well, let me just. This is, this is actually becoming long now, but I need 23 endurance, so, um, 23 endurance, so I need 5 there, I need 6 there, I need 16 strength, because I'm going to be wheeling the dark, um, the dark moon great sword. And faith, I need to be 12, so there's going to be 5 there. So I don't know if I have 15 more levels, but... I'll just start from the top of what I need. So in order, I'm going to try to get that up to uh, 23. Then I'll move down to strength to 16. Faith to 12. For my next playthrough. There we go. So we'll work on that, and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit in the next video. I would like to take a moment while I'm checking on things here to recommend that you look into my uh, description of the video for links to channels. We are in a group called the Free Time Creators Collective, and that is a group of creators, believe it or not, that create in our free time. Well, I've got one anyway. And, um, you know, great group of people. They have different games we play, different styles, different recording uh, techniques, etc. Um, we we sort of you know we encourage each other, uh, and and it's an encouragement to have other people come and see it. So I, I recommend you give them a look. They're entertaining and and um, you know we learn from each other, and it's great to watch the smaller channels grow. So if you would uh, give them a look. See what you think. Uh, you know, like it and subscribe if you want to, and send comments, etc. And as for this video, I'd appreciate it if you click a like. Subscribe would be great as well. Um, and you know, and I, I mentioned before the comments. I really enjoy getting comments. I'll read them all. I'll answer them all. I've had great. Uh, comments from from very great people i had a newer subscriber that talked about uh the not souls farming i guess it's rune farming over by the uh rise and caleb with the big ball that came down you know and so i like interacting with stuff like that so if you comment that'd be great it's very encouraging and i appreciate you watching this video and as long as you keep watching them i'll keep making them thanks